We're moving on to the next one, which is, uh, and again, this is something I'll ask, who else has ever heard of something like augmented reality? Um, so you probably have, but you don't know. <laughs> um, so if you think about your high-end cars, if you're driving along well, that's and... The, that's the world I live in, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but if, if you're driving along in a car, the high-end cars, and you know how they use um, like heads-up display to actually show the current speed, your next GPS turn, they actually push it up onto um, like the windscreen. Um, you've seen that sort of stuff. That's what we're talking about here. It's overlaying real-time information on your field of view. Um, so that's what augmented reality is really about. Military use it all the time on, you know, if you think about the helmets that they wear, when they look through the helmets, they get a whole world of information. Um, so that's, that's a bit of an idea of what it is. What I'm gonna show you is some of the technology that people are looking at um, and where this is gonna be used in the future. Just while you're doing that, one yep. of my main disagreements with some of the um, auto gear companies is they seem to be hoarding all their software in their own sort of systems. Or, you know, I mean, is there anything coming out that we can almost plug in auto steer and that kind of stuff that would just sit on a tablet like this? Not, can... not really my area to uh, so I don't know. Yeah. 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 yeah it used to be to share, wasn't it? Yeah. So what I'm using here is another little application, and this is really just a showing the technology. So what I'm going to do is, if you can, if you see that, you know, this is just showing the camera view out of my iPad here. I can show us everything on here, but as I actually go over this little um, photo, this little thing there, it's actually showing me a picture of a shoe. Um, this shoe I can actually, you know, manipulate. I can spin around. Um, I can, you know, say I want to actually see the shoe um, in a different colour if I'd like to. So I can actually interact with it and change different parts of the shoes to different colours. So what I'm like, I was sort of saying before, it's actually using technology to overlay real-time information over what you're actually seeing. So, you know, if you think Ben again about when they designed the camera in this, it probably wasn't that what they're expecting, but this is the sort of things that's going to come in around. Um, the next one I'll show you, um, you know, it's a little picture. This one I think is quite cool. Um, it's just a you know Greek mythology sort of um, picture. And as we go over that one, we get this little guy. And I like him. I can actually manipulate him and turn him to come around. Again, it, it's a bit of a gimmick in terms of what it does, but it shows off what the technology is available for. You, and people are developing shirts where, you know, if you've got this, you put it up to their shirt and a tiger comes out of their chest. You know, it's a whole new world of different interactions using technology around it. Okay, so we'll send the little guy away. <laughs> You'll notice I've got John Deere up there. Um, and the reason why that's actually interesting is John Deere, uh, when I was doing some research for this presentation, um, they've actually developed a similar application, which, you know, the latest combine harvester, um, you can actually do the same thing, you can explode it out, you can actually have a look inside of it. Um, if you think about from a training perspective, where this sort of technology can go, um, where you wander up to something, if you've got a set of glasses or however this actually works, and this is again, this is in its infancy, it's not real today but um, you wander up and based on what you're looking at it gives you a whole wealth of information imagine going to you know um, yeah yeah but over reality um, go to Cairo and have a look at the you know, you know uh, pyramids but have someone doing a personal tour based on what you're looking at rather than just going with the group so these are the sort of uses that are actually coming um, I and I'm running short on time, so I'll quickly jump through, but when I did some research for this presentation, there are people out there in the poultry industry starting to look at this technology. Um, you know, the people are looking at it from a crop perspective to be able to overlay last year's crop information on this year's as you're actually looking at it to be able to con compare yield sizes and things like that.